to the next session on answer safety tutorials. In this session, we will analyze the NACA 441 to aerofoil for its fluid flow analysis. We will analyze the aerofoil for a minus 5 degree angle of attack. For that, we will start by double clicking on fluid flow fluent. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click. New design modeler geometry. I'll go to units, millimeter, XY plane, look at. Then I'll click on point. It is asking for the coordinate file, which I'll choose. Then I'll click on generate. Next, I'll go to Concept 3D Curve. Here I'll select on From Coordinate File to Point Selection. Then I'll select one by one all the points in order. Click on Apply and Generate. The last two points have not been selected, so I'll go to concept, lines from points and select both the points by pressing the control button. Then I'll, then I'll click on apply and generate. Next I'll go to concept, surfaces from edges. I'll select both the edges, apply and generate. Once the surface is created, I'll click on this point option. Next, I'll go to sketching and choose line and draw bounding box. Then I'll go to modify and use the trim option and remove these extra lines. Next, I'll go to dimension and give these dimensions. This is 200. L3 is 50. L4 is 50. And V2 is 100. Next, I'll go to concept. Surfaces from sketches. I'll select the sketch 1 which I just created. Operation I'll give as add frozen and generate. Next I'll go to create body transformation rotate. The body which I want to rotate is the airfoil. I select from here. The angle is minus 5 degree. And axis is the xy plane. Apply. You can see here this orientation has changed. Then I'll click on generate. Now this line body can be seen. So I'll go to line body, right click, suppress body. I'll go to create boolean. I'll choose subtract. Target body is the outer one. Tool body is the airfoil. And generate. You can see here this is the geometry which we need. Then I'll close this window. Next I'll go to mesh and double click. I'll first go to mesh. And I'll change the element size to 0.001 meter. And generate. So once the meshing is done, I will name these edges. So I'll select this one and right click create tape selection. This is the inlet. This side is the outlet. This is the airfoil.
this edge is say the top and this one is the bottom. See now you can see here all these sides have been named. So once this is done, I'll go to mesh once again and update. You can see the mesh translation to Fluent was successful. Once this message appears, you can close this window. Next, I'll go to setup and double click. Here I select double precision to solve all processes and start. Here you can see the solver type is pressure based, velocity formulation is absolute, time is steady and 2D space is planar. So when you go to models, you can select any viscous type of model from here by double clicking. I have selected the K Omega SST model. Next you can go to materials and here what we are going to use is air which is the default material. So I'll go to boundary conditions, inlet, double click on the velocity. The velocity magnitude is 15 meters per second. Apply and close this. Then I'll go to reference values and double click. I'll compute from inlet. And reference zone is the surface body. Then I'll go to methods. Your turbulent kinetic energy model is the second order upwind which is by default. If not, you'll have to change it. Then I'll go to monitors, report plots, new, again new. I'll go to force, report, drag. Drag coefficient is what we have selected here. So I'll write here drag CD on the airfoil. Print to console. Okay, again I'll click on new, force report, lift, your lift coefficient is selected, so I'll write here lift, CL, airfoil, print to console, okay, then I'll click on new, force report, drag, this time I'll select drag force, so I'll write here drag force on the airfoil print to console ok again I'll click on new force report lift I'll select lift force here I'll write this as lift force I'll select the airfoil print to console ok so once they have been selected I'll click on ok and close. Next, I'll go to initialization and double click. Hybrid initialization is what I'm going to choose. I'll click on initialize. You can see here hybrid initialization is done. Then I'll go to calculation activities, auto save every iteration. I'll choose 20. Okay. Then I'll click on run calculations. Double click here. Number of iterations here I give as 500 and calculate you can see here the calculation is complete we will check where the solution has converged it is the 59th iteration I have given 500 iterations but that's okay not so many iterations were required you can see here the solution has converged if you just place the mouse here, you can see it is 59th iteration. This is the drag coefficient. The highest value is 0 0.0053. You can see here this is the lift coefficient. This will be negative because you have given a negative angle of attack. This value is minus 0 0.006 here.
but this is not the maximum value because this is a negative so here you can see the highest value at this bottom after that drag force the highest value is 0.73 newton and the lift force again you can see here it is minus 2.106 newton so once this is done you can close this then you can double click on results I'll first click on streamline okay I'll start from symmetry 1 number of points here I give as 70 apply you can see here this is the streamline flow over the aerofoil next I'll go to animation I'll change the type to sweep animation I'll select streamline 1 I'll remove the forever loop and give say three repetitions and also I'll go to options I'll change the symbol size to 0 0.4 okay and play so you can see here how the fluid particles are flowing over the aerofoil it is a complete laminar flow there is no turbulence which you can see here the highest value of velocity is 24 as you can see here 24.62 meters per second once this is done I will uncheck this option I'll click on contour 1 okay we are creating the pressure contour so I'll select range local location is a symmetry 1 number of points I'll give as 110 I'll go to render and remove show contour lines and apply so you can see here this is the pressure profile over the aerofoil where the pressure is highest here value is 149.67 pascal and below the aerofoil it is blue in color where the negative value is here minus 334.182 pascal this is the minimum value next again I'll go for another contour so I'll uncheck the contour one create another contour location is symmetry one variable is velocity range is local number of points 110 render and remove show contour lines i'll go to geometry and apply now what you see here is the velocity contour so you can see that the velocity is more below the aerofoil and here above it is lesser the highest velocity is 24.6194 which is here and minimum is zero and over the aerofoil also you can see that it is showing zero velocity and in this zone slowly the velocity is increasing and over the aerofoil and around where the air is flowing you can see a variation of velocity so with this i end the session i hope you have understood this analysis if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates See you in the next session. Thank you.